Hi, I'm Frank, and we're in the deep end. Be sure to subscribe, like, and ring the bell. That helps us get our message out there. Now let's learn some pool stuff. When I arrived this Polaris 280 hose was about 7 feet too long. This is how you cut it to the correct length. This is the method used for the Polaris 280 and 380 cleaners. Other cleaners, like the Quattro, are different. The first thing you do is cut the hose for the depth of the pool. The length from the cleaner head, to the first swivel above the backup valve, should equal the depth of the pool. This section is called the leader hose. It is the only part of the hose that should go under water. The rest of the hose floats on top of the water. Then you stretch the hose from the wall to the furthest point of the pool. The final length should only be about 18 inches past the water's edge at the furthest point you want the cleaner to go. Then measure how much hose needs to be cut off, so you only go 18 inches past the furthest point. Divide that length by 2, and cut equal lengths from the two sections of 10-foot hose. Now the two lengths on either side of this swivel should be equal, and the total length of the hose only extends about 18 inches past the furthest point you need the cleaner to reach. This Polaris 280 hose is now cut to the proper length. This is the thrust jet. Its direction is adjustable. Setting it at 10 o'clock tends to work best for us in the vast majority of our pools. The 10 o'clock position helps combat the pole to the left that results from two wheels driving on the right side. This results in longer sweeping circles in the bottom of the pool, and it tends to prevent the cleaner from getting stuck as often. This is the tail sweep hose adjustment screw. Screwing it in clockwise will reduce flow to the tail. This will also result in less tail action. If you have issues with the tail spraying a long distance when it breaks the surface of the water, then reducing flow to the tail will help, but we do recommend a Tail Sweep Pro first. The Tail Sweep Pro disperses the high pressure stream and increases the sweeping action of the tail. We also recommend using tail scrubbers on the Tail Sweep Pro for better scrubbing action, and it protects the plastic material of the Tail Sweep Pro. This is the head float. This float pulls the, the rear of the cleaner up, which forces the nose down. We usually set them a thumbs width distance from the feed pipe. If you ever see your cleaner riding with its nose up, then remove this float and check to see if water has gotten in it. If it has water in it, then it needs to be replaced. This and all Polaris parts are readily available at your local pool works store, or other pool specialty stores. Polaris tires need to be replaced when worn down. Not replacing them when needed can cause other damage to the cleaner. This is the backup valve. Water flows through the backup valve, but once every three minutes or so, it will reverse flow through this port, dragging the Polaris backwards. This helps get the cleaner unstuck if it is stuck. Backup valves can stick in reverse flow, or regular flow, and need to be replaced occasionally. This is a good time to show you how the nuts on a Polaris hose work. This may be elementary to some, but I see this as a problem many times every year. The actual nut goes onto the hard plastic piece of the backup valve, or other hose components, with the open side outward. Then the hose slips over the barb on the plastic piece. Then the nut screws back over the hose, and that is how it holds it in place. It is crazy how often I see them not put on correctly, and they keep blowing the sections apart. This is the universal wall fitting and quick disconnect, and this is the inline filter assembly. The inline filter screen should be checked regularly. Its purpose is to prevent debris from getting into the internal working parts of the cleaner. If debris is getting trapped by this screen, then that means debris is getting past your filter, which means your filter is not working effectively. To remove the quick disconnect, push in towards the wall, and turn counterclockwise. If the o-ring is old and swollen, this may be difficult. Older cleaners may have a filter screen inside of the universal wall fitting. This is the pressure release valve. It is spring loaded and will release excess pressure. You may also loosen it to manually adjust pressure to the cleaner. It is normal to have some pressure being released from this valve. Notice the groove in the quick disconnect. Inside of the universal wall fitting, in the wall, there are two knobbies. 
these knobbies slide into these grooves and lock in the quick disconnect. If these knobbies break off, the universal wall fitting must be replaced. Thank you for watching our video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell.